Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm going to demonstrate the air ride system on your livestock trailer. So this is your air compressor. It's self-contained on this trailer. You have an on-off switch, a pressure gauge, and a lower and raise knob. So on these air ride systems, when you're hooked onto the truck and going down the road, have the air ride system on. It's better for the trailer. It's most importantly better for the animals. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the power switch on, let it build up to 145 PSI. The compressor will turn off at that point. Load the animals. The trailer's two and a half inches lower to the ground. Then at that point, you're gonna go ahead and turn the knob to the raise position and it'll, the compressor will kick back on and raise the trailer up. When traveling, a lot of people ask if they need to continue to keep the air ride system on. When you're going down the road, yes. If you stop to grab a quick bite to eat, don't worry about it, just leave it and walk away. If you get to a show, you're parked overnight, you get home, we wanna go ahead and properly turn the system off and drain the lines, and I'll show you how to do that. To properly shut down this system, we wanna go ahead and turn the power switch to off. We're going to turn the knob to lower, which is going to start forcing the trailer down on the bags. And the last thing we want to do is we want to pull this cable. On this air ride system and this compressor, it builds up condensation. Well, that condensation can freeze and cause damage to the system. So what we always want to do is we always want to drain this. You'll hear a hissing noise, and I hold this till that hissing stops. Again, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions on any of the trailers that we showed you here today or anything else in inventory, feel free to give us a call at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.